Hi everyone, this is Margaret Manning with 60 and Me. I had the great honor of working with Elizabeth Kubler-Ross way back in the 80s. And um, if you don't know her, she was a very beautiful woman, a doctor, who did a lot to revolutionize the way that we looked at dying and the dying patient. And uh, she wrote several books on death and dying and uh, explained the five stages that someone goes through when dealing with a bereavement. And I used to work with her to help uh, prepare her workshops that she did. And it was just the most remarkable experience and time in my life. But um, I later in life had an opportunity to think about this in terms of a divorce. You know, and I know it sounds a bit um, disconnected, but I think people going through a separation or a divorce go through similar stages. And I came up with this idea about what I call the stages of X. <laughs> X-rated stories. And um, I think for me, the first one that maps to Elizabeth's um, one of you know, shock and denial is actually the, the whole exile phase. And this is where you want to be alone. You just don't want to be with anybody. You are in exile and you want to just regroup, um, you know, feel the pain that you're experiencing and, you know, just really um, dig deep into your emotions and, you know, put the dark sunglasses on and just hide and cry and just get over that initial shock of, of the separation. The second stage is what I call express. And this is where you finally feel the need to express your emotions and to shout and scream and cry, but in a way that's really cathartic. You know, it's not just um, uh, that sort of anger, but it's, it's really um, re a release and expressing your true feelings. And this can be very complicated because there might be a lot of self, uh, you know, negative self-talk and blame and guilt, but um, expressing those emotions I think is really critical to moving on to the next, um, the next stage. That next stage is what I call exorcise. And this is exorcise as in uh, getting rid of the demons not exercise, but probably exercise would be a good thing too, but exorcise, where you just take a look at the demons that are haunting you with this relationship, the regrets about the past, the things you feel you should have done or could have done, or the anger at um, you know something that was done to you or words that were said. This is the time where you have to let them go. And you know the exorcising of the, those demons in yourself and how you perceive them in the other person is really like you know it's an it's a critical part of the journey towards acceptance. The next stage after exorcise is explore, because once you've you know let things go, you've gone through the exile, you've just you've discovered the you know the, um, the 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 things that are really haunting you about the past. You can then just start looking at the future and explore your new life. And this is where a lot of new haircuts and hair color takes place, <laughs> you know, new clothes, where you're just trying to redefine yourself and find out who you are and to explore the world um, that, you know, you, you feel is now possible. It could mean going back to school, education. It could mean changing jobs or, or moving to a new place. But now you're the explorer in your new world, in your new land. And it's a time for you to be a little selfish and to be a little bit, um, well, to make decisions, to start making some decisions and for them to be yours, not really in, based on, on anyone else's uh, judgment or, you know, or, or criticism or, or, you know, their views of what your life should be. This is your time, your life. So exploring your new world is next. And then the final stage of, um, on the journey to in acceptance of your separation or divorce is exhale. And this is a stage where you breathe, you know, where you know that it was okay, that everything's going to be fine and that you did the best you could in the circumstances and that, you know, it took a lot of courage to do what you did and that uh, now it's the time to breathe, relax and uh, treat yourself to a new world, a new life. And, you know, I think these are the five stages that everybody goes through. You sometimes linger in one a little longer than the other. <laughs> I know some people stay in exile for quite a few years and that they come back too. You know, you think you finish with something and all of a sudden an anniversary happens or something reminds you of your, of your ex and, you know, then you're back in express again where you have to express your anger or even in um, exercise where you just see, no, it's time, let it go.
So I hope this is helpful. These five stages, I think, lead us to the ultimate, which is acceptance, and acceptance of um, this is a you know this being a great life transition, a great experience to learn and grow and to redefine yourself. So divorce and separation is tough. It's um, actually the, the divorce rates for people over sixty are going up. And uh, as the general overall divorce rates going down, so this is a time when people perhaps didn't have a very happy relationship to start with, or were waiting for the children to, you know, to become old enough to leave, and you know, or to have the courage to to make the step. And so I think we have now, you know, see a lot of women in our community facing this uh, transition, and I think we can help each other. So my question, my question for you is. Have you gone through a divorce or a separation in your 60s? And if you had, have, how did you deal with it? What did you do to get through those stages? And then what advice would you give to someone in our community who is going through the same separation or divorce situation right now? Let's help each other out. Leave your comments in the section below. Let's start a conversation. Uh, I'd love to look for your comments and join in and um, hope that we can help each other on this journey. Thanks so much, everyone.